Hello everyone, today I will show you how to use Excel in a more efficient way. If you are already using Excel, I'm sure you would be using a lot of keyboard shortcuts. If not, you must use keyboard shortcuts because that saves time and helps you gain a lot of efficiency. So in this video, I will show you 106 Excel shortcuts along with examples in most of the cases so that you can use them and gain efficiency. All right, guys, this is the last section and I'll show you the shortcuts number 99 to 107. As I mentioned earlier, I'll try to paste all these shortcuts in the description box as well. I don't know if YouTube allows that or not. I will try to provide a link to this Excel sheet or you can always go on my website www.solve.co.in because you'll find this Excel sheet there as well so that you can use it for your future reference and uh, feel free to use it for any other purpose, but it has to be legal. So coming to my 99th shortcut here, I will show you Control plus Tab. Control plus Tab will do two different things depending upon where it is. If it is in a workbook, it will act accordingly. If it is in a toolbar, it will act accordingly. So the 99th one says Control plus Tab in toolbar, it will go to the next toolbar. So if I say Control Edge, I'm on my toolbar and I want to the next toolbar, I will say Control Tab. Here you can see that it is taking me to the next toolbar one by one from paste to cut to copy to format printer and so on. Control shift tab will basically take you to the previous uh, toolbar. Now, if we are not in the toolbar, but we are in the workbook, control plus tab will basically activate or take you to the next workbook. Like here, it took me to my demo workbook and back to my formula shortcut uh, workbook. Control shift tab will take you to the previous one. So in my case here, just to demonstrate, I have only two workbooks. So it will take me from one to another, whether I press control tab or control shift tab. But if you have three, four or five workbooks, it makes sense for you to shift forward or shift backward and not take the entire circle. Control shift tab, I've already told you. After that tab, basically, if you are in the toolbar, it will take you to the next tool. If you are in the active workbook, it will take you to the next uh, cell. Shift tab will basically do opposite of it. Enter, ha ha ha, everyone knows it. Enter is basically if you are in the edit mode, you want to get out of the cell, you have typed something, you want to go to the next cell. Basically, that is what enter does, apart from the enter being used as the master command. Control shift F and control shift P, font drop down list and the point size drop down list. So if I come here and say control shift F, I already showed you one of the ways to go to the font size and the font, font and the point size earlier using alt h press the other option here is if you say control shift f and control shift p it will take you open up this menu in this menu you can go to font change the font the size font style and so on if i say control shift and p it will open the same thing but now my cursor is active on the point size here so guys Thanks a lot to watch the entire video if you have been here till now. And as I mentioned earlier, I'll really be motivated if you click subscribe and hit the bell icon because that way you'll get to know all the future videos and share it with your friends and family on your Instagram, Facebook or whatever platform you are using, maybe your WhatsApp as a link because that will help me stay motivated and post more videos for you. Also, I like to tell you, I've already created a couple of videos and posted on my channel. My channel is Solve Tech Issues, where I try to uh, solve all the issues which I get to know from my friends and families or otherwise people come and tell me. Uh, I try to solve them. I've already posted videos there on how you can use your Microsoft Office in that to the latest version, which is Office 365 in a free and legal way. Yes, you heard me right. Free and legal version of Office 365. But the only thing is, it's the web version. I've already made a video on how you can use the Office 365 on your mobile phone, whether it is your iPhone or your Android device. I have made another video where I have showed you if you are using Office 365 app on your mobile device, how you can use that to use features like capturing the notes directly from the whiteboard if you are in a presentation or in a classroom and a couple of more videos which are already lined up. So guys, once again, I'll really like and I'll really appreciate if you can hit the subscribe, the bell icon, the like and share it with your friends and family. Thanks a lot for being with me till now and I hope the Excel shortcuts have now been shown.